the Ohio State University, and his supervisor is here as well. <laughs> so, um, so it's probably he's not only organizer of the conference, he's also, or almost everyone knows him from this way. And another organized conference in Tel Aviv country is also there. So we have all of us have some business with Jan Jane in the past, or will we'll get in the future. And um, I will, he will talk about his recent research. He will spend some time with the University of Michigan, but eventually um, he wrote me that he moved to Korea due to the family reasons, but I know that the main reason was different. But last winter was the coldest winter in the 30 years or so in the northeast, the northwest, so the west, the global warming. Yeah, 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 but it was global cooling and it was the coldest winter. And uh, I understand that many people who live in this part of the U.S. will be more than happy also to move to Korea. <laughs> So it's about, uh, so, okay, so I'm going to start with this uh, grant. So the, uh, I worked with Evan Friedman uh, and the Baldwin Powell who did experiments and some uh, work the Bruce of him and the I am the knee who is present here as well. So the, again, Billy Blasman, everybody knows this. So the, I think the, uh, all these speakers uh, in the morning and in the afternoon session uh, um, gave you know, really nice introduction. Uh, on you know why glioblastoma is you know, really bad disease and all that and so all this background has been covered so I'm gonna just skip most of this and uh, even biotherapy uh, the professor Park and all this uh, professor you um, uh, chair uh, also had a very nice introduction on this so even Phil Kim even through this uh, well in fact I intentionally did that to minimize my uh, length of my talk but anyway uh, so this uh, uh, so I'm going to start from here. So the, um, the human ICM, the photo to be one of the family with the ICM, um, what the family with the ICM here, uh, the ICM uh, refers to the extracellular that is in the brain, or what, in every part of the body, uh, the, uh, what the extracellular that is Yeah, 
not just passive structural elements in the brain. That's very, very important uh, in regulating the growth and and the uh, migration of uh, brain tumor cells. But also, it can uh, play a very you know huge role in regulating the spread of virus, and that is really important part in this talk. Okay, so I'm gonna say something about the. Okay, so, uh, well, I'm not going to go through the whole because uh, I'm not thinking, so I don't know how to explain it. I don't know. But, uh, so, this is the this is part of the uh, complex. So, uh, this is the complex. So, probably, it's for the drug. You might be able to explain it. But, I'm not able to explain it. But, anyway, what it does is, essentially, they're doing something. They are engineering something uh, to uh, encode. Uh, and this is what I, I, I can't go for it. But, anyway, they are doing something. So the here is the uh here's the actual pictures that you can easily understand. Okay, so let's look at this video for example. Um so this is the spirit. This is spirit or or three, I would say this is the And the uh, this is the case when you And, and this uh, picture uh, uh, 
other teachers outside of this domain, then the virus is going to come from outside of this. And this, uh, essentially, this one, uh, this one is, 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 is essentially correct. So it's a three boundary parallel. Uh. Okay, so here's the equation. Uh, so the, we consider uh, the density of the uninfected cells and infected cells and negative cells or dying cells and the uh, concentration of the CSPG uh, and the tumor, other tumor, uh, tumor HD materials and the concentration of water and the virus and the concentration of the base of the So, and of course, you know, I mess up with all these details, but essentially what it says is that, well, the, uh, the CCM, CSPG, for instance, Virus spread would, uh, would be different. And the uh, role of microenvironment. So, the, uh, in order to test the, uh, the role of microenvironment, we essentially uh, uh, divide uh, our domain into two pieces. So, so, on the left and on the right, we describe, we put the different boundaries into a different diffusion uh, 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 question.
Uh, yeah, so that thing is coming up for a variety of cases. And, uh, and this one also shows for similar things. Uh, that is the effect of lambda t on the virus infection, but I'm going to skip this in uh, some other case for this time. And the, uh, there's an interesting paper by Mark et al. Uh, he thought that was several years ago. Uh, he, uh, so that was that the, he had several patients. And um, uh, this is the location of patients for so, so one patient. So the, we have to address uh, this question. So and that's why uh, we really have to uh, focus on the space. And this, in this case, we have a case. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. So the uh, so we so for this particular paper, we was asking whether uh, is it is it is it best to uh, inject this virus if you have to you know, uh, say a uh, same number of viruses available, then is it better? Say that you know you inject this the virus. Virus is coming from the outside. This is the control case, and this is the case when we have a virus coming from outside of the virus, but we can also inject the tumor, uh, the virus at the center of the spirit. So that's why you see this, uh, this uh, area, uh, area at the center, and that forms this because the virus coming from the outside. Uh, that's why you have the readings here, but the virus. Is But if when you put the trace uh, even further, then you have the even more uh, of the virus. So the the lesson that uh, you you get from this is that uh, it's it's much better if you yes. Do you mind me how to use the word? Uh, trace. Uh, good point. So trace. Uh, trace also can be injected, but also they can also come from the outside. Uh, in this 
but the majority of trade is also coming from outside. And in this one, you could give that to a person without it affecting the HTML to buy. No, no, you that. So the, uh, by, by uh, calculating all this, and we, we by, by looking at the number of injection and the, uh, the strength of the height and so on, so we are trying to see uh, what is the optimal solution in order to, uh, in order to get the same injection. We don't want to put too much space in any case of pretty aggressive issues uh, because we don't want to discuss the other issues. So we, we you want to minimize the amount of violence or minimize the amount of space in order to uh, you know, get the same injection if you if, 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 if possible. So I'm going to just, uh, just go over this one, one slide. So, and this is the case when you have different scenarios, and in this case, uh, well, okay, I'm going to skip this. And um, it's interesting that when you have secondary tumor, so let's suppose that you have, you have primary tumor, and let's suppose that smaller size of tumor is located up there, and with different size. So in this is a different case from this. So in this case, you have larger tumor and smaller tumor. That, that the efficacy of the uh, of the virus uh, virus spread for the secondary tumor, if I mean this one, uh, the secondary one, uh, it seems to be different. And uh, it seems that uh, distance between primary tumor and the secondary tumor seems to uh, seems to uh, 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 generate a different efficacy. Uh, so we are uh, we are trying to find the optimal optimal way of getting really rid of all these tumor cells uh, uh, when you have. The number of devices and so on. So I guess uh, I'm going to stop here because we are the time and I'm the gateway to this course. <laughs> anyway, so the, uh, so 
the future work, uh, this is one particular example that I uh, used as a hybrid model, so with the hands. And so the hybrid model is going to be very useful when you uh, when you raise the issues about the how, how you track down the individual cells with the intracellular dynamics built within within the cell. And uh, uh, that was based on the, uh, the experimental data from these groups from OSU and the theory from the hands that was applied to the, uh, the breast cancer. And this one also, same method was applied to the breast cancer and the data was uh, from, from this group from the 